Today I'm going to show you how to play the song Reckless Love, um, a song that's pretty popular right now on the uh, worship scene. A lot of people are playing it, so I figured, hey, I'll show you how to play it, even though it's a really simple song. Uh, literally, it will take just minutes to, to show you how to play it. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to show you some stuff on how to kind of liven it up a little bit more if you don't just want to play it straight as the song, because I know different worship teams do it different ways. Our particular worship team tends to really overplay a lot of stuff, so we uh, we got a really busy drummer no matter what song we're doing, so I tend to move around a lot more uh, than you typically would move around on this particular song. But I'm going to show it to you the way it's recorded first, and then uh, hang with me and I'll show you some different ways to, uh, to jazz it up. Now I'm going off the recorded version um, by Corey Asbury, and um, it's in the key of G flat, not F sharp. It's actually G flat. There is a difference because the it's G flat because the F is natural if in the major scale. So um, then that wouldn't make it an F sharp if you want to have an F and an F sharp. And so it's, it's G flat. So just accept it that it's G flat. It's not F sharp. Okay, so we got that out of the way. <clears throat> and it uses what I call the T pattern on this song or also the lazy owl you're probably thinking what the heck is he talking about but if you've seen other videos that I've done instructional videos you know what I'm talking about which basically you've just got four notes to the entire song and they either form a T pattern or a lazy L and I call it the T pattern first let's turn up the bass a little bit more so you can hear it that's pretty much all the notes to the song right there so, we start off, we've got an E-flat, then we've got a, and remember we're flats, we're not sharps. So we got an E-flat, got a D-flat, and then we got a B. And that's the verse, and then the chorus is same thing, but then we add in the G-flat. And if you look at those across the uh, neck, straight across, and then down for the E-flat, it's kind of like a, a little T on the bass. I, I say the T pattern because you see this so much in worship songs. I mean, it's everywhere. So once you can recognize that T pattern, you'll start seeing it everywhere. You'll start being able to pick up on, on songs really quickly when you recognize that pattern. The variation of that pattern, which I call the lazy L, is where you're doing the same thing. But instead of going up an octave on the last one, you go down. So it creates like a, like a L that's like sleeping, <laughs> laying down on its back. So I call it the lazy L or the T pattern. Um, either way you want to do that. And I'm playing it down here in this position. You can of course play it up here. Oops. So you can do it up here if you want. I like playing down here because of the ergonomics of having your hand right here next to your, your body. So anyway, uh, I'll just play the song from the start. I won't do the whole song because it's the same thing over and over again. So we'll just uh, play a little bit. I'll jump forward to the uh, verse, or not the verse, I'm sorry, the bridge. So, and there's nothing playing here, it's just a guitar, synth, bass really isn't in yet. And the bridge is the same thing as the chorus too, so it's no big deal. So, now whole notes. Oh, and one thing to note, it's in 6-8 time, not 4-4. Four, four. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can't hear the song. People confuse three four and four four or six eight. It's a six eight. You know, you're whole notes. Keep at Fills or nothing. 
school, the same thing. Same thing. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. song never changes um, so if you want to the good way to uh, to work on this song to, if you want to jazz it up a little bit more just think about what notes you can do first of all just think about the arpeggios of each of the the chords in the song so in this case you got the uh, minor seven you kind of got like a sus4 there play that along to a uh, click. Again, I'm using just a little metronome on my iPad. Got it in 6-8 time. That's roughly the, the tempo of the song right there. kind of working off the arpeggios that's one easy way to, to quickly start getting some different things happening in the song uh, we tend to walk it around a lot because uh, we're just a busy a busy worship team um, so again just basically just working off the uh, the arpeggios uh, of the chords so if you've got the chord chart for the song which is basically you're just dealing with um, you've got the E minor 7 and you just do Got, uh, it's a, uh, it goes to a D flat sus4, then it goes to uh, a B sus2, and then this is just a uh, major chord. But I would drop the leave the third out because that third doesn't quite. I would just keep with um, the second of the chord then down a fifth and actually you can work with just those notes right there so really just using those five notes there you could you could you could make the song sound a whole lot more busy than it is so you just be five notes and you have suddenly got a song that's much busier sounding or you can do more beyond that but that's just some easy ways to kind of jazz it up if your worship team does that your worship team might just play it completely straight uh, just like the recording and um, it really kind of depends on I take my cues off the drummer um, you know again we've got a busy drummer on our worship team so I'm kind of at times forced to play more um, and so if your drummer's doing a lot of stuff, then usually gives you a little bit more freedom to kind of move around more. Or if he's too busy, then you really don't have any space to do anything. So you just would stick to the whole notes and kind of force him back into the, into the pocket. Um, so anyway, just uh, do whatever works, works right for your worship team. That's the song. It's really simple. And I hope this video is helpful for you. If it is, please like it. Um, and also subscribe to this channel. If uh, I'm if it's helpful for you, why not? Um, I've got a lot of videos. So I'm trying to, you know, put new videos out um, at least every week or two. New songs. Also got ministry-related stuff that we're posting. Um, so uh, check it out. And uh, thanks for watching.